I want to just uh, invite everybody, but all of you here and those watching, to tomorrow night, God willing, we're going to begin our three-part series on the Rebbe collections from the Rebbe Zagada. The Rebbe Zagada, as I mentioned in my notes and I mentioned today after davening, is one of three books that I've actually wrote. 98, 99% of the teachings we have from the Rebbe are <coughs> transcripts of the Rebbe's talks. Some small percentage of those transcripts were edited by the Rebbe. The vast majority were not edited. But the fact that the Rebbe sat down and wrote a book from beginning to end, to the best of my knowledge, is only three. There are some, there are others, but those are the Rebbe's private journals, which became books, but they were never published officially. Three books published. One is the Hayyom Yom, the, the, the collection of sayings for each day. So that's not a, a you know, commentary on, any, on anything. It's just a collection of teachings for the day, even though there's also original thought in there. Maybe we'll talk about the value of the Hayyom Yom another time and what the Rebbe did there. The other book is, the Rebbe wrote a biography on the fourth Chabad Rebbe, the Rebbe Maharash. It's Rebbe Shmuel of Lubavitch. Very little is known about him. And uh, when the Kahos, the Chabad publishing house, which, parentheses, more context, when the Rebbe first came to America, before he became Rebbe, his, his first official job was to oversee the Chabad publishing house, which remained something near and dear to the Rebbe's heart throughout the Rebbe's entire uh, leadership was the publishing house. So, that's, cause, that's right. So, as part of the, 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 the editor, the, 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 the leader of the publishing house, they've been encouraged as certain writers to put together biographies on each of the Rebbe's. And the fourth Chabad Rebbe, Rishmuel Lubavitch, very little is known about him. So, the Rebbe himself wrote that biography. And the third book that I wrote is the Haggadah, a commentary on the Haggadah. Specifically, a commentary on the Al Rebbe's version of the Haggadah. What does that mean? So we know that the Al Rebbe compiled a Siddur. Compiled a Siddur means that the Al Rebbe collected various different versions of the Siddur and put together what he felt was the best version of the Siddur uh, based on grammar, based on Halacha, custom, uh, based on Kabbalah, and so on. The history of that Siddur is in, for another time, maybe. Now, like most good Siddurim, it includes a Haggadah, what to do on the night of the Seder. It includes, actually, what you should do all year round. Hanukkah, Purim, you know, the back of the Siddur has a section for each holiday of what you do, including a Haggadah. So the Altar Rebbe compiled a Haggadah. And like any good Siddur, it has instructions. Do this here, do that there. Right? And that becomes the authoritative Haggadah for the, Chab for the Chabadnik. How do you follow the Seder? Based on how the Alter Rebbe chose the Haggadah and the comments he says of what to do when. So the Rebbe, at the behest of his father-in-law, wrote a commentary on the Alter Rebbe's Haggadah, which means the Rebbe comments A on the text of the Haggadah itself, which is mostly universal, and also comments on the Alter Rebbe's instructions in the Haggadah. So this is the only book, scholarly work, work of commentary they ever wrote from beginning to end. Now, unlike Rebbe's speaking, which is extremely prolific, Rebbe spoke at length in elaboration and so on, Rebbe's writing is extremely brief, not an extra syllable, not an extra word, not an extra comment, comma. So Rebbe's comments are densely packed, filled with sources, and in two words, mighty, mighty, mighty scholarship see here, but see there, and therefore perhaps such. That's, that could be the whole sentence. So to understand what they were talking about, you have to open up the sources, look at them, see what they were trying to do, and then when you understand the sources and you see the two lines, they were put, two words, they were put, you see a whole new scholarship and a whole new way of thinking. And never does this, not just on a halachic level, but never does this on every level. And I, I don't like using this word, but it, the best way to describe the Rebbe is academic. Academic in the sense that it's not a, like every commentary on Haggadah has a certain objective. Some are inspirational, some are halachic in nature, some are uh, getting to the grammar. You know, each commentary on Haggadah has, has a certain objective. The Rebbe's objective in the Haggadah is, what does the Haggadah say? And therefore, every single element is necessary. 
if that girl is telling us something of a halachic nature, that was going to get down to the essence of what the halacha is. If that girl is telling us something on a spiritual nature, get down to what the spirituality is. Even down to the poetry, the syntax, the, 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 the nuances of every single angle that you can possibly think of in the Haggadah that we address. If it's there, there are comments on it. Getting to the sources, the history, where does, where does each passage come from? Why is it in this point in the Haggadah? Why is this word before that? Is it telling us a halachic message? Is it a spiritual message? Is it both? Are the halachic and spiritual message linked? Every single detail that have of the Haggadah is, is addressed in brief, dense, absolutely precise commentary. So unpacking the Rebbe's Haggadah really gives you a real window, first of all, into the richness of the Haggadah itself. And in some ways, even more than that, it gives you an understanding to the richness of the Rebbe's way of learning, which is completely and totally unique. The Rebbe's way of learning, uh, more unique than, than other ways of learning, which maybe we'll talk about that another time. So all to say, I'm inviting you to join us tomorrow night, 7.30. We're going to begin uh, three classes the next three Thursday nights. So this Thursday night, next Thursday night, and the one after that, upstairs here in, in the MTC at, at the Koilo, we're going to begin unpacking the Harebe Sagada. Each night we'll look at another passage. Tomorrow night we're going to look at a halachic passage in which the Rebbe discusses what is the essential mitzvah to relay the story of the Exodus. That's what the whole Haggadah is built around, is this mitzvah to relay the story of the Exodus. So what is the essence of that mitzvah on a halachic level? The essence of the mitzvah. The Rebbe is going to give us six angles to that. So we're going to go through that and try to unpack some of it. And we're going to see there was brilliance and beauty um, and precision in that God willing. And then the next night, I haven't yet chose the passage, but to give us a sampling. Uh, so tomorrow night's going to be halachic in nature. And the next week we'll do something maybe on the linguistics or on the, you know, on the linguistics and history side. And then the, the, week, the week after that, we'll do something on the spiritual dynamic. So we can got to, we can got to get a sense of all the, of some of the different angles that will look at the Haggadah. So I look forward to uh, sharing that with you tomorrow night and in the next three Thursday nights. Have a wonderful day, Eden.